we had a plan. We wanna go back where we been. The film Reminiscence, it is a mixed bag for me. While the acting from Hugh Jackman is great, everything else in terms of story falls flat. I had like high hopes for this film. Like, I seen the trailer too. I thought, you know, this could be an interesting movie. But when it was all said and done, this film kind of bored me a little bit. Directed by Lisa Joy, who was making her directorial debut. This movie is about people enjoying their memories using a machine. You see, this machine can cause them to relive their memories, hence reminiscence. And from there, you have Hugh Jackman, who plays Nicholas, looking for one of his former loves, May, played by Rebecca Ferguson. Man, I have to say, I was kind of bored by this film. Why is it when it comes to the Torio debuts for first-time directors, it can either go one way or the other? One way is it'll go smoothly or it can be very bumpy. I mean, she directed this film and she had directed some of TV before, but, you know, it's very shaky because, you know, story's not the best. The acting, it's good from Hugh Jackman. Rebecca Ferguson, she did a decent job. Even Cliff Curtis is in this film, despite how small of a presence he has. But one thing I will say is that while the concept seems intriguing, they ain't do enough to explore it. I mean, in one scene of the movie, this is no spoilers, but it's like you don't know if Hugh Jackman's character is in the real world or exploring a former memory. Nonetheless, though, this film had much promise. And despite what some people have been saying about it, this is not a horrible film, but I wouldn't go out my way to like rewatch it again anytime soon, simply because it left me like saying, despite how good the acting is in this film, it's just the story is not the best. Like, you could check this film out because it's on HBO Max. And it's probably a good way to spend the weekend if you have time to look at this film. One thing I will say is that this takes place in the near future and most of the coastal cities in the world are flooded. I mean, it looks visually beautiful, but it doesn't really add to the story. I mean, you can have a whole lot of craziness goes on, but it's on the background. Hugh Jackman's character, Nicholas, he's trying to find his girlfriend. And despite all the mystery behind it, it's like I've seen this in films before, maybe Blade Runner, obviously. But what I really is trying to understand is that they try to tell a story, but it got lost in translation. This movie is boring, yeah, it's a little dull. And, you know, if the script was tightened a little more, you know, if it's a little bit stronger, then maybe I'll be more invested with it. This is not one of the worst films I've seen of the year. It's not a great year. It's sort of in the middle, where I'm kind of like saying, you know, the chemistry between Rebecca Ferguson and Hugh Jackman is like non-existent. I really don't see it in this film. And then you have like these other side characters and, you know, the motivations they end up doing. No less though, like I said, if you're curious, you can check this out. You might like it more than I did, but, you know, I feel like it got offered a whole lot more with a premise. Well, you know, premise. With the premise that was, you know, that came with this film. I'm giving this film a 6 out of 10. Now, I did enjoy some parts of this movie, like the reminiscent scenes. You know, seeing people in their past memories. It was interesting to look at, but they ain't explore it to its full potential. And not just that, though. They kind of dropped the ball with it. And it's like, did someone write this script who didn't have a whole lot of experience? I don't know, but what I do know is that the interesting storyline has so much potential. But nonetheless, this is a film that had a whole lot of issues with it. It's just, it's not an outright disaster. There are some enjoyable moments in this film, but if it wasn't for Hugh Jackman's acting and the acting of like everybody else, this film probably would have been forgettable 
at the end of the day. And that's my review of the film Reminiscence. Okay, leave your comments down below in the session. And let me know if you've seen this film, what you think about it. All right, this is Swim Guy 172 saying, peace out.